Eh, itu dah. Game. Hi, it's Adjala and yes, finally, welcome to my YouTube vlog. I'm formally welcoming you all to the launch of my virtual life. Yes, so. Eto na, let's do this. After all the times, a lot of people are asking me na, Uy, Audrey, Ella, alam ka ba magsistart ng channel mo? Kasi, ang dal-dal ko talaga, kept on talking, especially if there are so many interesting stuff happening around me. Sabi ko, sige na nga, I'll push for a YouTube video or YouTube vlog na nga rin. Let's try this one. So, hopefully, it's gonna be successful and I'll be very, very masipag in uploading stuff here because you know I'm a busy girl to those people who know me they know me as a very very busy girl busy girl so kakayanin natin yan anyway sige let's start with the video so as my first official video here in youtube i'll be talking about one of the first of many many first in the life of a person so ano nga ba yun? let's talk about frosh life okay for sure easy pa nyo love frosh life usually yan naman yung mga pinag-usapan ng mga youtuber eh mga ano frosh survival tips so an ano audrey ano ella what what makes you different so ito na um since magdaldal akong tao, sometimes naman, may sense yung sinasabi ko. So, I'll try or I'll make sure to put a flavor to all the things that we'll talk about for today about fresh survival tips. So, before we go on to all those tips and all those advices that I could give to all those fresh who are watching right now, papakalala ko muna yung sarili ko. So, hello, I am Cristela Audrey Green. I am currently a third-year college student in DLSU and I'm currently taking up AB Psychology and BS Legal Management. Yes, it's a double degree program. So, mamaya baka napaisip kayo, bakit ko tinitake yung ganitong klaseng program? Eh, so, isa lang naman ang sagot ko dyan. I want to be one of the few forensic psychologists slash lawyers here in the Philippines. So, most likely some of you don't know much about forensics, di ba? So, actually, that's something that made me super, super curious. So, parang, ano ba yung forensics? Ganyan. Yung forensic psychology kasi, um, unlike clinical psychology. Forensic psychology is a mixture of psychology and law. So, yung, um, yung profession mo, ang goal mo is to help lawyers, help legal professionals into solving crimes or into solving a certain legal case. Tapos ikaw, mag-offer ka ng mga clinical knowledge na napag-aralan mo as a psychologist. Ganon. I always take opportunities na very unusual talaga. Gusto ko lang kasi talaga mag-explore ng maraming bagay. For my degree, I will be taking five years and one term. But then hopefully ma uh, ma lesson ko pa siya by overloading myself with units every term so god bless to me <laughs> ah! plus orgs pa di ba plus personal life kaya nga wala akong love life eh <laughs> oh my god Anyway, so, nakilala nyo na ako. So, yes, let's proceed now to the Frosh survival tip. So, wait, I'm just looking at my notes. Alright, uh, when you say Frosh, usually ito yung mga tao na bago lang sa isang university. They don't know so much about the culture. But yeah, I, I experienced being a Frosh in DLSU actually twice. I can say I could give a lot of tips for you guys on how how you could survive your frosh life or actually not only frosh life your life in DLSU so yes let's start so I also ask a lot of people a lot of a lot of my friends some tips that, that they could provide to you guys so let's go with the specifics or yung mga simple things that you need to have in order for you to survive your frosh life. Ang sabi ng friend ko na si Ricky. Hello, Ricky. So, sabi ni Ricky, first, you need to know a lot or you need to learn how to use Google Suite. So, ano ba yung Google Suite? So, ito yung may Google Doc, Google Slide, and Google uh, Google Sheet, Google Forms, etc. Why? Because when you enter DLSU, you'll be having 
your own DLSU email. And here, you're gonna have unlimited space. Google Drive, yun yung as in storage of everything that you do in Google Suite. Ibig sabihin, you need to maximize it, learn how to use it because it would really help you with your college life. It's really helpful with all my academic requirements, even my organizational requirements and the responsibilities. Ginagamit ko din yung Google Suite and the super helpful talaga niya. Um, if ever naman na you're not that okay with Google Suite, you could also try other apps. There are actually very helpful educational apps na pwede nyo gamitin right now. Um, you could use Notion. Notion is also like a Google Suite thing. So, far you could create your um, tables there. You could organize your schedules. So, yeah, it's also a good platform to organize your life. So, other than Notion, you could also use... Actually, some people use Microsoft Teams. It's really helpful with org stuff because ano din, you could also organize your tasks, you could also organize your files or to-do list, ganyan. So, you could try those. Next, another application that you could use to organize your life is the class of application. So, ano ba itong class of application? To plot your schedule. So, yung schedules mo na to is yung class schedules mo, basically yan. You could use it as wallpaper sa phone nyo. So, ito, meron ako actually Hindi siya updated. Pero yeah, parang ganito yung mangyayari sa... Sige, focus ka lang, te. Vlogger ka. Anyway, so parang ganyan, you could organize your schedule every day, especially your class schedule. Kasi pwede mo siyang lagyan ng background and you could make it as a wallpaper of your phone. Very, very convenient. Next, have a list of all your meeting links on your desktop. So, since we're all in an online setup already, yung itong mga links na to, ng mga Zoom meetings or Google Meets, you need to make sure that those are compiled in one place or you have access to those immediately. Kasi Kasi kung DLSU student ka, dito papasok yung struggle mo, yung 15 minute break. Problem mo naman ngayong online class ay it's either babagal yung laptop mo, mabagal yung internet, or may biglang nautos sa'yo sa house. So, yung 15, 15 minutes na yun, very very crucial. So, you need to make sure na compile lahat ng meeting links mo. So next, I have a master file of all your subjects which contains your prop name, their email, and where's it best to contact them. So yeah, pretty explanatory. As Frosh kasi, you need to be really independent. And being independent means you need to be mature. So as a mature person or someone who is on the, you need to make sure na everything in your life is organized. So okay, next. Join props to pick and community forum. Yes, very, very, very important. Because in DLSU, you get to enlist your classes. And you also um, get to choose the professors na magiging professor mo sa classes mo, right? So, um, through community forum and props to pick na Facebook group, pwede mo search dun yung professor na nakalagay dun sa list sa course offerings. And then, from there, you're gonna see a lot of recommendations, a lot of comments about the professor. And then, from there, you get to have enough basis to decide if you'll take that class or not. So yes, very, very essential. Nakatulong siya, to be honest sa akin, when it comes to enlistment. Okay, next. Keep track of your grade so you know how and where to improve. Yes, um, you really need to be grade conscious in college. Well, not really grade conscious in a way na kailangan mong, kailangan mong malaman na naka-four ka parate. Just make sure na you get by every day, you get by every term at least, and ayun, na wala kang bagsak na, na classes kasi you really need to make sure na you get at least a passing grade. So, yun, just keep track of your grades, make sure that you are responsible with everything that you do. And then, last from Riki, uh, about orgs ato. So, later, we'll talk about orgs. Next, um, let's go to the recommendations by another friend of mine. He is 119 naman, and he's Kovi. Hello, Kovi. Hello, cop, cops, cops, cops. Anyway, si Kovi, friend ko na siya ever since elementary. Yes, uh, lower batch sa akin sa old school ko. And so, sa mga tips naman na binigay ni Kovi, 
ay make sure to create the timetable of your requirement. So, um, yung timetable na to, it could be a, a Google Sheet since you need to know about the Google Suite na. So, pwede Google Sheet, pwede Google Calendar. Um, for my case naman, I use, I use a planner. So, this is my planner. It is the 366 days. So, every, so very helpful siya sa akin kasi dami nga akong ganap sa life ko as a college student. So, at least may enough space for me to put everything. Other than the planner, since online classes na nga, I also have a whiteboard. So, yung whiteboard ko naman, ganter. So, inayos ko siya per time slot sa class. So, nilalagay ko lang per time slot if may class ako. And then, if wala naman akong class, I put some tasks there na kailangan ko gawin in school, with my orgs, or dito sa bahay. Okay, and then, for the last tip on this, so, you need to invest in this three things. One is to invest on a tumbler. And I have one. Because for the whole day, you'll be having classes. Actually, you really need to make sure that you get 8 to 10 glasses of water every day. So, you're gonna achieve that. You're gonna have your own tumbler. What are you every day? Okay. Second, you also need to invest in a... Oh my god, where is it? Where is my binder? You need to invest in a binder. So, I have a binder. Ouch! It's from Moji. So, may mga pocket siya. So, nabili ko din to from Moji. So, yes. Tapos, um, ayan. Naglagay lang ako ng um, divider for each class. So, I put notes here. So, every class, since mabilis magturo yung professor, nag-type ako sa laptop ko. And then, when I go back sa condo, Doon ako nagtitransfer ng notes kasi from there, nare-review ko yung natutunan ko every day or every week. And then, you need to invest in a lot of ball pens. Sometimes, it's really essential or beneficial pa rin if you have your ball pens. Actually, not only ball pens, you can also invest on your highlighters. Wait lang, I'll change. Kasi papakita ko sana sa inyo yung pen organizer ko here. Um, ayan, highlighters, ball pens, markers, pens, and pencils. So, yeah, since um, I'm the kind of person kasi who uh, makes sure na I wrote down notes aside from typing it sa laptop, yung highlighters naman, you're gonna need it because you need to make sure na meron kang pang annotate, meron kang pang highlight. So, yes, very, very helpful ang pens, pencils, and highlighters. Next, um, let's go to the section naman that talks about surviving frosh through different academics. So yes, first you need to do is kaibiganin niyo student services ng student government niyo. Kasi they know a lot about everything, about flowchart, enlistment. So in DLSU, you're gonna have this so-called flowchart. Flowchart consists of all the courses you need to take for each term, for each year, and for your whole stay in DLSU. The flowchart is your Bible. Well, Bible in a sense, pero kasi it's something that you can't live without. Tamba, you can't live with, you can't live without. Yes, you can't live without. Kasi yun yung basis mo to make sure that you are uh, progressing into completing the required unit. Next, you also need to know about different processes in school like enlistment basically. Enlisting subject means you need to make sure na tama yung mga pinipili mong professors, tama yung pinipili mong class. So other than those struggles, other struggles of enlistment ay the facility itself. Animosis. Animosis! Ay, kasi minsan, di sila nag-work. Nag-work sila kapag hindi mo kailangan. Pero kapag kailangan na kailangan mo na, doon sila magloloko. Bakit ganon? Hindi naman kayo, Joa, para magloko. So yes, and syempre makipag-agoan ka din kasi ng slot sa ibang student. So paunahan din yan eh. Kaya you really need to be a dean's mister to make sure na you have the perks na makapag in this ka ahead of others. So yes, that's something also that you need to uh, take note sa DLSU. If DL ka, benefits non ay early enlistment. So meaning you get to enlist ahead of time. Um, 
make sure also to befriend older batches. So, bakit kailangan mo maging friend to older batches? Because they know a lot more than you. So, sila yung pwedeng magbigay pa sa'yo ng tip from an older batch. Madami na akong pwedeng maitulong sa inyo kasi napagdaanan ko na yung mga yun. So, yes. And also, need to make sure you befriend your academic programming officer. So, ito academic programming officer, sila, kumbaga, yung guardian angel mo as you complete your college life. Kapag delayed ka, kapag bagsak ka, kapag kailangan mo ng subject na ganito, your academic programming officer would be the help that you will need. So yes, um, basically those are the academic tips that you need to know as Rush. Next, let's go to the most awaited part, which is about org life. Org life! First, go to the orgs that you love where you will grow. So thank you for that, Ika. So another friend of mine, Ika, she sent about BS org. Sabihin ko na to as early as now, if hindi pa kayo nag-start, make sure that you join the organizations na you know you'll grow as a person. So yeah, make sure lang na sa unang pa lang, you join organizations na you definitely love. So second naman, don't feel pressured. So it means, um, usually kasi uh, ang namimilit sa mga orgs ay mga upperclassmen. So, don't feel pressured na Hala, kinuhap ako ng gantong tao Pinilit ako na mag-join ng org na to Kasi masaya daw, ganyan-ganyan Pero alam mo sa sarili mo na you don't want So, yes, don't make other people pressure you Because at the end of the day, it's your choice Third, try new things Adding to doing what you love, do something new Wake up with your high school self And see what the world has waiting for you Wow, I love this, Ika. So yes, uh, basically, if no high school, mahilig ka sa performing arts, ganyan basically. In college, try different stuff naman. Try joining um, the media orgs, try joining your student government, or your home orgs, ganyan. Next, I... Ito, sabi ni Kovi, join as many orgs as you can. But, 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 make sure na hindi siya maka-affect sa akads mo. Huwag niyo gayahin because ang dami kong orgs ng frosh. Until now naman. But then, if you join a lot of orgs, make sure na kaya mo pa, especially na akads mo. Because at the end of the day, you're student first. You need to prioritize your academics. Make sure to balance everything. So yes, make sure um, you get a time to rest. Make sure na alam mo kung ano yung limits mo as a person. Super tired and your other aspect. So yes, make sure to take breaks, people. And then, ito, when it comes to org stuff, make sure to join their officership programs as well because you learn so much and uh, make sure you choose positions you feel you both enjoy and grow in kasi if hindi mo enjoy baka mo burn out ka tama tama yan just because um yung mga officership programs it further helps you or train you as uh, basically as a leader yourself kasi dito na dito mo na malalaman different administrative process different org stuff, talaga yung pag-handle ng ganito, yung pagmamanage ng ganyan. So, it's really a learning experience. But make sure you join a committee na you want to immerse in talaga. And, nandito na tayo sa last tip for the BS, pagiging BS org as a frosh. So, it came from Jazz, a friend of mine as well. So, she said, Honor your commitments to both ACADS and ORG. Bawal lumamang ang isa dyan, especially if you are an active member of an ORG, like an officer. Kasi, yun nga, like I said, you need to make sure na you are prioritizing your academics. Make sure na walang nako-compromise na bagay. You need to make sure na at the end of the day, wala kang napapabayaan na, na bagay na nasasolve mo or na-accomplish mo yung responsibilities mo in both academics and ORGs. So yes, that ends the org stuff part of the frosh tips. And we'll end it with uh, some few general tips that you need to make sure na you keep very, very dear to your heart. And I was able to get a few of those then from my very, very helpful friend to make sure na very substantial itong first vlog or first video natin as a YouTuber. Okay, so ito yung sabi ni Ika. She said, make sure na you be yourself every day. Because college is a time in your life that you get to explore what you really want in life.
it is the time wherein you make you will try to achieve something because you know that's what makes you you so make sure that you give this opportunity to yourself yes college is a time to grow and growth is something that you will really treasure once na you step out of college. And then, yun nga, next step naman, I don't be shy. It's a new start for everybody. They'd love you and your bubbliness. So yes, do not uh, be afraid to show who you are, to show what you've got because itong chance na to na pagpapakita ng real you or pagpapakita na you could do something more than what other people expected you can do could be the defining moment of your life. Yes. And for the last, last tip na super, super highlight ko din sa ibang tips earlier is to make sure you get your rest. Rest, rest, rest. Make sure na you get enough rest that you can. Because if you don't rest, like Ika said, burnouts come often. So don't forget to take a breather. Do something you love. Eat something you like. Give yourself a rest and practice self-love no matter how tiring it is. Because make sure na minamahal mo yung sarili mo at hindi mo to hinahayaan na ma-reach yung limit niya. Love yourself, baby girl. Baby girl. Alright? So, okay, at we, we're now at the end of the tip for being a frosh in DLSU. I know it took a lot of time, but I do hope na nakatulong siya sa inyo to be more prepared, to be more equipped as you enter your college life, especially in DLSU. Alright, so that's the end of this video. I hope you liked it. And if you do, do not forget to give this a thumbs up. And ba ba sila sabi? Click the notification bell somewhere below. Hello. And do not forget to subscribe. Okay? Okay. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.